Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be using ChatGPT as a Scrum Master. And I'm going to be answering the question, can ChatGPT help me write better user stories? Let's take a look. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And please do know that every like and every subscription does help the channel grow tremendously. We are crushing our goals, and I appreciate your support. Let's jump into ChatGPT. All right, so today we're not actually in Jira. We're gonna be in ChatGPT, and I'm gonna be asking it a couple of questions. I always have a hard time writing user stories, and so I kinda wanna walk through some of the prompts. I am completely new at this. This is unscripted. I don't know what to expect here, and I'm hoping that that empathizes with you because you might be in the same situation where you're like, hey, can this chat GPT thing, this AI that everybody's talking about, can it help me do my job a little bit better? Let's find out. Again, not scripted. Totally, you're going to be seeing my raw reactions to what the tool does. Now, full disclosure, I have used the tool before, but I just haven't done it to have it help me create user stories. So this is going to be interesting to use. I'm excited for the results. So the first thing is, I'm just going to ask it something simple. Help me write a good user story at this point i just want to see what chat gpt will return this is a very very basic prompt there is no intent there's nothing extra about it i'm just telling it hey help me write a good user story this is i think this is a really really good starting position to kind of just feel the waters and we're going to go deeper we're going to explore and we're going to have it iterate we're going to try to give it information and see if we can turn it into something really really cool but let's take a look at what it's coming back with. So remember, I asked it, help me write a good user story. And it said, sure, here is a simple formula for writing a good user story. As a user, user, I want to your goal, your desire, so that you have a benefit. Then it goes on to give me an example. So the example it gives me is, as a busy professional, I want to be able to schedule my appointments online so that I can save time and avoid missing important things. Here, the user, a busy professional, has a goal to schedule appointments online that provides a specific benefit, saving time and avoiding missed meetings. This user story clearly communicates the user's need and motivations, making it easier for developers to understand what the user is looking for and how to build that solution to meet their needs. So this is actually really good. If I'm a complete beginner and I've never really written a user story before, I really like this because it's actually not only showing me the structure, but then it gives me an example and then it goes deeper. Then it tells me the benefits of why it was written that way. What else can we do with this prompt? Well, let's take a look and let's see if we can ask it a little bit deeper. And so I'm going to go, great. Now, give me a few user stories for an app that I'm building. I'm creating a mobile ordering app where I want users to see a menu, make a selection, and then order some food. I'm being very specific here. I am basically telling it that not only do I just want a random user story, I'm trying to give it some context about the work that my team is trying to do. Now again, this is all fictitious, but I want to see, I'm very curious about what it's going to return. And the other thing that you should note is that I didn't ask it to just give me a user story. I told it, give me a few user stories. And so this is going to do a couple of things. This is going to hopefully not just give me one, right? It's going to give me a couple. I'm curious to see what it thinks. How does it process? How does it analyze the fact that I'm trying to create a mobile app for ordering food? And so let's take a look at what it responds back with. Sure. Here are three user stories for your mobile order app. As a busy commuter, I want to be able to quickly view the menu and place an order from my phone so that I can grab a bite without having to wait in line. Very similar to the previous one. As a frequent customer, I want to be able to save my favorite items and quickly reorder them as a single tap so that I can save time and simplify the ordering process. As a health conscious individual, I want to be able to easily view nutritional information and ingredient lists for menu items so that I can make informed decisions about what I eat. Now, these are interesting because the first thing that comes to my mind is one of two things. One, these are helpful. And B, hmm, 
These are things that I didn't intend my app to do. So the question that you can do or the way that I would start incorporating ChatGPT into my daily usage, it wouldn't be so much about writing the user stories per se, but I would utilize it to help with the product owner, working with what features do we want to build? What capabilities should our app be able to do? This number one item, the, the first item that it responded with, this is a, uh, a common thing. I would have thought about this. But number two and number three are definitely not things that would have been in my scope at all. And in fact, I've been thinking about this app for a couple of weeks now, and I've used so many apps before, but not once have I ever used these apps to save favorite menu items or to make health conscious decisions. So it's interesting that ChatGPT went this route because now it kind of, it gives me some enlightenment. It gives me some inspiration for maybe pivots and different directions that we can take the app that I otherwise wouldn't have thought about doing. Now we can go a little bit deeper and I can go great. Give me three more user stories. And when I do this, it's going to prompt ChatGPT to basically go back to the drawing board and expand on those. Or the other thing that I'm going to do next is once it gives me three more user stories, we're actually going to go a little bit deeper and see if we can't prompt it to give us a little bit more meat. These items that it's given me is great, but maybe I want to focus in or hone in on a specific feature set. And we're going to see if we can have ChatGPT help us out with that. So let's take a look at the results of these three new stories that came back. So now we got, as a busy parent, I want to be able to pre-order my food for picking up at a specific time so that I can have a hot meal ready for my family as soon as we arrive. As a party host, I want to be able to quickly place a large order for delivery to my event so that I can feed my guests without having to spend hours cooking. As a foodie, I want to be able to deliver new menu items and read reviews from other customers so that I can try new dishes. Again, these are great new business use cases that I just hadn't thought about. I, when I, just my gut reaction, right? So when I started this, I just wanted to make like a McDonald's app, go into the restaurant and order food. But now it's taking me in these directions that are just spawning all kinds of just new inspirations for how I would approach developing the functionalities of an app. So this is really interesting to me. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting that ChatGPT would be so inspirational. I honestly was just thinking that it was gonna give me some very, very basic things of like, here's how you write a story. But these are actually, really good stories that really do help me shape and define the direction and consider the functionalities that I want this application to be able to do, which I think is really key because sometimes even just trying to solve what your app should do is the problem. So as a scrum master, we take it for granted that we just write the user stories, right? We're just churning text on a screen. But if you take a, five second time out here and you appreciate what it is you're trying to build and the why you're building it, the way ChatGPT is giving me this information is really inspiring a little bit more entrepreneurial spirit in me. So maybe as a scrum master, I wouldn't find these too beneficial because I think I would find these to be too distracting, but let's see if we can hone in. Let's see if we can pick back to the busy commuter and let's see if we can get ChatGPT to help us focus on just a scenario. Let's just say that we're a busy commuter and we want to make the best app possible for busy commuters. So let's take a look at what happens then. All right. So what am I going to tell it? Let's assume that I am a busy commuter. I want the best user experience when ordering through a mobile app. Please give me three user stories for this type of scenario. Now I'm being a little bit more specific. I'm very curious what ChatGPT is gonna think of this. Again, not scripted, this is the first time that I'm ever writing this. I'm just really, really curious to see what this thing turns back around because I always struggle. Writing user stories that are good is a hard thing to do. But I'm very curious to see if ChatGPT is up for the challenge and what its limitations are. So let's take a look at this. So now instead of having been a hodgepodge of just random cool things, I told it to focus. And so the chat GPT responds with, certainly, here are three user stories tailored for busy commuters ordering food through your app. As a busy commuter, I want to be able to quickly browse the menu and place my order with the minimum number of taps so that I can place my order quickly and get back to my busy schedule. Now we're spawning user experience based 
stories. So these are key because sometimes when you're developing an application, your developers don't really optimize for that user experience. They'll build this awesome backend that connects and does all kinds of API calls and all this crazy coding engineering marvel. But the end user has to like go through like hoops and fires and flames just to get to their destination. So this first story puts it all back into perspective. It says, hey, I'm a busy commuter. I just want to click a couple buttons and I want to have my food. It hones in and brings back the user experience portion of it, not just the technical aspect of it. So I really, really like this. Next one is, as a busy commuter, I want to be able to save my frequently ordered items for easy access and reordering so that I can quickly place my order without having to navigate through the menu each time. This one's another great story because now we're talking the architecture. Now we are talking about how are we storing that user and the database and the calls that are going to be there to retain that information. Because not only do I just want to be able to process data and take an order and send it to the restaurant, but now I want to have memory. Now I want to remember and have context about, hey, a user not too long ago ordered something. Maybe they're going to want to reorder the same food. So now at the back end, when we're talking about the architecture of this code, and how it's all designed, now it's influencing to have memory states before the app was just kind of pushed through and it was just in that session. But now we have to be long living. Our sessions are not just that interaction. Our sessions have to be for that interaction plus every other subsequent interaction. So again, different architectural de decisions that now have to be made at the app level. So I'm really, really liking these user stories because they are spawning things that I just would not have come up with. I wouldn't have thought about half of these things. So it's really, really interesting to see how this plays out. And the final one is as a busy commuter, I want to receive real time updates on the status of my order. Now we have a two way street instead of just the user pushing information to the app, the app to the restaurant. Now the app and the restaurant need to push data back to the user. So what does that architecture look like? These are really good. I'm going to just leave chat GPT aside here and kind of end this rather long video. My game just give you my two cents. As a scrum master, I personally wouldn't rely on ChatGPT to write the user stories for my team. Now, I don't think that that's what, something that I would do, but I would definitely use it when interacting with like the, the stakeholders or my product owners to figure out what do we want? What is the art of the possible here? Because half the battle of developing a great app is figuring out what the app should do, where the market is, what are the use cases, and ChatGPT does a really good job here. I'm actually quite impressed about the level of detail that it gives me back and the thoughts that it just fired off in my brain about what kind of things do I want my app to do. I'm not very creative, so this really, really did help out a lot because now I'm considering things that I just, I would not have considered the status sync. I know that Domino's, the first time they did that a few years ago on their website was like mind blowing because you can see the status of your pizza, but imagine you can see the status of everything else so that you can organize your day and your schedule around your food delivery. So that's a really cool feature again that I just really would not have thought about. And I'm really, really glad that I use this. So again, just to conclude, I wouldn't rely on ChatGPT to do my day-to-day -day job as a Scrum Master. I'm interested to find out if, if you like these styles of video because I can see a scenario where we use ChatGPT to help us plan our sprint, run our daily Scrum, you know, all the ceremonies. If that kind of video interests you, let me know in the comment section and also by liking this video so that I can make those kinds of videos in the future. But anyways, this is my unscripted bird's eye view of can ChatGPT be used as a Scrum Master? I'm going to say yes, but cautionly use it because it's going to maybe take you down rabbit hole that you might not want to go down. And I don't think that your specific work for your specific proprietary application, whatever you're developing, I don't think that is going to be that beneficial, but who knows? I would recommend you at least give it a try and see what ChatGPT gives you back. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, drop a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section. And finally, make sure you check out the merch store and I officially have paid courses. So everything is in the description down below. Check it out and I'll see you in class and or I'll see you in the next video. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now